Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video and today we're going to talk about edge lighting on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now edge lighting is a display setting that allows the outside ring of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 to light up anytime you get any type of a notification through text message, an application, or as well as a phone call. Now the quick way to turn on edge lighting is by pulling down the notifications panel twice. If you do not see the option for edge lighting on your very first page, swipe over and you do have that option right over here. And this is where you will press and hold on that icon to take you into all of the detailed settings that you'd be able to turn on, off, and switch around. Now the other way you'd be able to go inside of there, as I I did mention this is a display setting is pulling down the notifications panel clicking on the settings icon click on display move down to where it does say the edge screen and then this is where you have that toggle of on and off for the edge lighting and also you have where you can click on that wording right there and it takes you right back over inside of here. Now, I do want to mention that my uh, good friend of mine, Brett, uh, he's also a fellow YouTuber. He has a channel that is called Tech with Brett. If you guys have not subscribed to his channel, make sure you guys go over there and subscribe because he made this video five days before I did and his thing is just taking off and his channel is exploding. So if you want to see more tips and tricks similar to the style that I do, make sure you guys go over onto YouTube, click on Tech with Brett and I'll put his link below the video here so you guys can check out his channel as well. Now getting back over into the edge lighting and all the different settings to make sure that this thing is turned on and working. So you have all the different options right here. So for the show edge lighting, you can have it when your screen is turned on. So if at any point in time you're using your phone, that is the only time that this will work. If you have your screen off, this is where if the screen is off and then the always on display, then it will work that way as well too. Either the phone is upright or if it is down. Now, if your phone is sitting up and you get a text message, yours will look just like this, which is what you guys saw at the very beginning of the video. Now, if you get a phone call, it will not come through as you saw with the notifications. A phone call is when the phone is actually face down and you're able to see the edge lighting surrounding the phone, which that we're right there. We're going to talk about here in just one minute. And then you have the option for always. Once you turn on the option for always, that means it's always going to work when your screen is on and also when the screen is off. So down here is where you can manage the notifications. So what applications would you like your edge lighting to work? Uh, usually out of the box, it has it for messages, but if you want to, you can actually turn it on for all of them. But what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll through here because um, I would like it to work for my messages. I'd also like it to work for Allo. And then the fun thing that you can do too is also with Amazon Music. So if you have music changing and stuff like that, it'll switch out too. And so I'm going to go through here and turn a few of these on. So now I've selected my 10 applications that I would like the edge lighting to work. Now let's move over into the advanced features. For the advanced features, uh, it's a way that you'd be able to customize how you would like your edge lighting to work, which this did not work with the previous models. Uh, so this one was really cool to see that I was able to change exactly how I'd like my edge lighting to work. So right now you can do it for the basic color, which is just a way to match the color of your wallpaper. So um, that one was a little bit boring for me. With this one over here for the app color, and if you wanted to, you can check out the preview so you can see how there is a little notification. It's a small little window right there. Um, but the color of blue didn't really show up too much on this screen. So what I do want to do is let's say we go down into custom color. When you click on that little green, now you can see how it's moving all around the screen and it's illuminating the green. So you can make it go into really any color you want to. So if there's a particular color that you love, you'd be able to make it do that color every single time you get a notification from any type of a application. But the thing about it is that, you know, your screen is off um, a lot of the times. And so you don't want it to always be green. I want it to match the app. So if I was to get a phone call, it'll be green. If I get a text message, it'll be blue. If I get a Voxer, it's going to be orange. If I get a Zoom, it's going to be a light blue. So I kind of know exactly what applications are coming through without me really even reading into the notification. Now you'd also be able to change, you know, how wide would you like it to go? So for this right here, I do want to do it as the green because in this way you guys can see all the different um, changes here. So if I was to make it narrow, you can barely see the green kind of going along the screen. If I was to make it kind of go in the middle, you can see just a little bit more. And if you make it more wide, then you can actually see it a little bit better, especially in the lighting here. Now, most people is going to keep it on wide. And honestly, Samsung should might as well just leave it as wide because that is super cool. 
cool. Now here's the transparency. So if you want the transparency to go down, so it's kind of now blending into the screen, you can see it disappearing a little bit. Um, you can still see it with the human eye, but the camera is not picking it up as much. So what I like to keep mine as is extremely low for the transparency because I don't want it to be transparent at all. I also want my uh, edge lighting to be extremely wide. If you want to check out what it looks like, just hit on preview. So right now edge lighting is on. So you can see right up over here that it is turned on. And what I want to do is send myself a text message and let you guys see what it looks like. So you're going to see that it's going to illuminate around the edge. But the main thing is the notification, the little banner that's going to pop up right in the middle. It's extremely small, so it's not going to take over everything. So that is what it looked like there. So what will happen is if I was to go up here and turn off the edge lighting, what's going to happen is now that banner is going to be a little bit larger than before. Now, looking at this one here, it's not as aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Even though it is a pretty large banner that you're able to check out, you can close, you can open it, stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that one. So that is why turning on edge lighting, it doesn't only just turn on the edge, but it also changes the way that your notifications comes through with a banner. Now, I turned off most of the lights in here and I wanted to show you what it looks like when the phone is face down. So you can see that there's gonna be a ring that will illuminate right around the phone. So you can see that when your phone is down. Now, before closing out the video, I want to show you guys what it looks like if someone was to call you. So on the very top of the screen up over here on the right hand side for more options, you have it to where it says quick reply. Once you go inside of there, you have the option to, if someone was to call you, give it, give them a quick response back through a text message. So right now mine says, sorry, I cannot talk right now. I'll call you back later. So you can change this if you want to. And the moment that, uh, let's say that I just want it to be, I'll call you back. So once you click on the down arrow or click on back, Every single time you go inside a quick reply, it's always going to show that way. So there really is no save button. It's just a way that once you make the changes, that's the way it's going to be. Now, if your phone is down and you get a phone call, put your finger on the heart rate sensor and it's going to send them this call right back. Now, it, like I said from before in the beginning of the video, if your phone is illuminated and it's turned on and someone calls you, it will not light up the edge of the phone. It's just going to say, hey, you're getting a phone call. Um, but when your screen is down, this is what's going to happen. So you can see here that I'm getting a phone call. It's illuminating all around the phone, but when I put my finger on the heart rate sensor, it's sending them a text instantly right back stating, hey, I am busy, I will call you back later. So that was the tutorial for the edge lighting on the Galaxy Note 8. So just remember, you're able to do this for the S8, the S8 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 8. But outside of that, make sure you have that your setting here is turned on probably do the option for always. Make sure you're using the notifications for the applications you would like it to work as. And then underneath advanced setting, just make sure that your transparency is not all the way high so you are able to actually notice what is happening. And don't forget, if you guys wanted to check out more videos similar to this, but not on my channel, make sure you guys go over to Tech with Brett. He does have some very good videos that will help you out with your guys' Galaxy Note 8. He's a good friend of mine and a very great YouTuber who is now exploding on the YouTube channel. So check him out. And if you guys liked anything in this video, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys go below the video, click on subscribe, and then move right over here into the subscribe button. If you guys liked the video and you want to see more, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.